Well, hello there, Aquarius. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing a special reading in celebration of the Day of the Dead. Um, we're asking your past loved ones for a message for you. So um, we'll uh, take a look first at the overall energy for the theme of what it is that they would like to share with you, the message they'd like to share. Um, we'll take a look at the oracle cards for that, and then we'll go into the tarot for more details about any obstacles that, that you may be working on at this time and their advice about how to move around those quickly. So let's get into it. Let's see what we have on the horizon. All right, you have fellow travelers. Support is all around. Around you and take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly deserve and, and desire. So that's interesting that I said deserve. You do deserve it, Aquarius. Okay, this is the energy where I feel like you're in some type of a situation, okay, where you are emotionally, okay, drained because of a certain person or a certain situation. It could even be a health crisis that you're having to deal with, a financial situation, whatever this is. It's like, it's emotionally draining you, okay? And I feel like you may feel like you don't have any support around you, but that's where your past loved ones are coming in. They're saying, no, we're here. We're here, we're helping you. We're, we're clearing the pathway for you for better health or better finances or to find a new romantic partner or whatever it is. We're clearing the pathway for you. There is a sense of rainbows and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There are blessings that are coming your way. We're working on it. Have faith, right? But in order to kind of like help them out let's put it that way right to help them out it is about trying to control your thoughts your emotions about this so that can be really difficult uh, sometimes at Aquarius right when we're we're facing you know maybe it's not just one obstacle in your life maybe it's had a little bit of a domino energy to it you know um you could have you know had some situation you know um you know like you know, maybe you've had a health situation and because of that, you haven't been able to work. And then because of that, you're having a financial crisis. You know, it's kind of like this domino effect, you know, uh, you could have ended a relationship, right? That put you into a financial bind, right? And then, you know, because of that <laughs> and the stress of it all, you've gotten sick, you know? Um, so there is an energy of trying to kind of step into not allowing your, your thoughts, your emotions to take over, to, um, kind of like keep your eye on the prize. Where is it that you want to go? What is it that you're looking to create in your life? Um, and I think for some of you, you may feel like your life is a little bit out of control, right? Um, and this is just a reminder, your thoughts are creating your reality. So the more that you think about the health issue you have, or the more that you worry about somebody in your life or things ending or whatever it is, the more you're going to create that reality. So instead of thinking of what is not working in your life, to put your emphasis on what is good in your life. And that, I, I can tell you, <laughs> I have had to use that many times in my life where we just feel overwhelmed and that's the energy and I'm sending you so much love and hugs because Aquarius, I think you're, you're feeling overwhelmed. It's almost like you don't even know where to start, right? Because if you have had that domino effect happen in your life, you don't even know where to start. So all they're saying they're asking you, your past loved ones are saying, just concentrate on what's working in your life. And that could be as simple as saying, I have a warm bed to sleep in, right? Um, it could be, uh, I I have shoes that, I, that fit and I enjoy wearing. Whatever it is, it's kind of like focus on what is going well in your life and just keep repeating that because that's going to raise your vibration and help your past loved ones on the other side to clear the path towards what it is that you are hoping for yeah 
it, it's sometimes really hard to do that. But when we can get into a sense of gratitude, that is the sense of, oh my goodness, you have the great gratitude here. Yeah, when we can be grateful for those things that are good in our life, okay, then we get more good. <laughs> and then we have more to be grateful for. And that just keeps raising our vibration. And before you know it, things will start smoothing out. So instead of trying, I'm not saying that you don't have to work on certain things. Like if you're looking for a job, yes, you have to put out the resumes and stuff like that. But it's kind of like every time you send a resume, even if you don't get an answer back or you're not hired, just be grateful that there's a job out there that you could apply for, right? <laughs> it's like looking for sometimes the smallest things that you can look for. Um, and that will help. That will help your, your emotions. It will help your mental health. Okay. And it will also help to uh, foster more and more people that will show up onto your path. Remember your past loved ones will put people in, onto your path to help you. So it's kind of like looking for that too. <laughs> it's like being grateful when you have somebody that comes onto your path that maybe just makes you smile that day or or offers to buy you a coffee or something like that, right? Just like, okay, I've got that. I'm going to hold on to that. Thank you. And say thank you to your past loved ones, you know, because they really and truly are trying to help you. Okay, so let's take a look at um, your present energy. Yeah, you have the door to romance. <laughs> you have the loving man. You have breathe. And then you have the queen of cups. I love this. I mean, this is the king and queen of cups. You know what? Um, I think that this is... you. I'm not saying that this isn't you. I think you have the ability to be in this energy, right? But I also feel like for some of you, this is uh, your past loved ones on the other side coming through. This could be your parents, okay? It could be siblings. It could be other family members or friends. Uh, it could be a, a spouse that has passed that is on the other side. Um, so I feel like you have these loved ones, right? And it says support is all around. They're just coming through in this reading to let you know that they are here, that they love you, and that a new path is opening up for you. Look at this. You have um, the Scorpio energy, and we're in Scorpio season. Okay, so um, it's about transformation. Things are changing. You have something new, a new possibility coming onto your path. So you have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're bringing you something, okay? Whoever um, your past loved one or past loved ones, they're bringing you some type of an offer. Um, and it's kind of like, okay, let's take a look. This is an offer. The Ace of Pentacles could be a job, new job offer. It could be a new romantic partner coming onto your path. It could be, you know, it could be going to the doctor and, and finding out a little bit of good news after a long time of having bad news, right? It's something that's coming onto your path. And they're saying, listen, please be grateful for this. <laughs> Don't like just brush it to the side. Don't say, yes, uh, well, that's fine. Accept that blah, blah, blah is going wrong in my life, right? It's kind of like celebrate this, whatever this is, it's truly taking advantage of whatever this Ace of Pentacles is. The thing is, is that an Ace of Pentacles is a seed that we plant that can grow into the Ten of Pentacles. But we, what do we need to do when we plant a seed? We need to water it, fertilize it, give it sunshine, right? Um, talk to it, <laughs> whatever it is. It's kind of like love whatever is coming because they want you to know that this is something that can truly transform your life, right? This is helping you to put step onto a path that is more balanced and you know really um, gives you a sense of courage in your life. Now, I want you to know that, wow, we have Virgo energy here too. These past loved ones, and one of these could be you, Aquarius, okay? Or these could be past loved ones that are coming in. 
You have Virgo, you have Scorpio, you have Leo, you have Libra energy, okay? So taking that into account, these could be, you know, your past loved ones for some of you that will resonate, for others it may not. But this is the energy that you have. I feel like you may even have a whole tribe of people on the other side that are encouraging you, that are sending you love and, and uh, uh, gifts. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles is literally a gift from God. It's a gift from your loved ones, okay? It's a take this opportunity and do not dismiss it. Okay, it is definitely an energy of that. All right, so let's take a look at your obstacle. Okay, I get this now. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you may think that this Ace of Pentacles is not enough, okay? It's a little bit of that energy of, well, is that all they can offer, right? And so let's take a look at this. Maybe you've been looking for a job for some time and you get, you get a job offer but it doesn't pay exactly what it is that you want you want or perhaps even that you need right or maybe it doesn't have health benefits or something like that and you're kind of like yeah well is that the best you know is that the best offer i can get this is the energy of understanding that you may need to take something at this time that isn't quite yet what it is that you want, right? But understanding, okay, I'm going to take this job. I'm going to do a good good work. I'm going to be grateful for this job. I'm going to put my best into this job. And then suddenly you find yourself promoted or suddenly they offer you a pay raise or all of a sudden you're not working part-time, you're working full-time, so now you can have health benefits. It's understanding that they're giving you something and even though it may not yet be what you want to hold out for <laughs> it's kind of like take this be really grateful for it put your best into it and it is going to grow into what it is that you are wanting be optimistic be happy about whatever this is yeah i feel like with the seven of wands here you know he's kind of like in the cage there it's, it's something that is going to help you to come out of the confines that you may find yourself in at this time all right, so if you are seriously having some like, you know, financial situations, is it going to get you completely, is this new job going to do that completely for you? No, but it's the first step, okay? It is going to grow into something that will <laughs> completely get you out of this cage, right? Yeah, so let's take a look at what your um, your advice from your your loved ones is. All right, so we have the third chakra here. The third chakra is your core values. Okay, it, it's going back. Okay, so this is kind of interesting, Aquarius. It's kind of like going back. Like you may say, yeah, but this job doesn't pay what I want or, or this job is below my pay grade or below my educational whatever, right? It's kind of like, that's, that's not where I want to go, but it's kind of like going back to your core values. What are your core values at this time, right? It's kind of like looking at what is really important to you. Why is it important if, if this is a job that will help you or a situation that will help you to come out of the cage, but it's not quite what it is that you deserve. And I'm not saying that this is something that you deserve. <laughs> what your past loved ones are saying is that this is something, this is really kind of like a gift that they're giving you. Don't, don't feel as if you're, you're kind of like, how do I say this? Kind of Maggie, um, kind of like deceiving yourself of success okay of moving into uh, moving out of this cage that you feel like you're in it's uh, it's because if you don't allow yourself to see the love the gratitude in what you're getting right it's this energy of okay <laughs> yeah because it will lead you to something that you truly love it's once again that situation where sometimes you have to take what is offered at this time in order to be able to move to something better. Yeah, is really you are manifesting something that you deserve. Here's the thing, this is the first step into getting what it is that you deserve. It's not saying 
that the offer that you're getting at this time is exactly what you deserve. It's kind of like, take this and run with it. Nurture it. Be grateful for it. And when you are, my goodness, <laughs> it grows into something that you are truly deserving of and want. And that is the really exciting thing. Yeah. I think for some of you, you know, you're. it's about dropping the, the burden, okay, of... Of, of feeling like the five of wands can be an energy of a com competition or being fearful of what other people will say if you take this. I feel like there's a little bit of pride here, right? And um, sometimes we can let pride get in our way. And you have the courage card. I feel, you know, courage, it takes courage to you know, put aside our pride sometimes and do something that I'm not saying that you you sell yourself completely short or do something that's immoral, okay? Because there's your core values. If this position is in alignment with your core values, is not going against, you know, your your own code of ethics or morality, right? Then it's kind of like, okay, I'm not going to allow pride to get in my way in order to be able to to take this possibility, this opportunity and grow it into something. Yeah, you are transforming. I feel like maybe, you know, the Capricorn energy, you may have, you may be attached to thinking that you have to have something specific and they are saying, listen, this is a good opportunity. It's going to turn into something that you don't understand at this time. If this has something to do with a love, okay, a new love offer coming in, it's the same thing. It's kind of like, take this opportunity, go out on this date, get to know this person, nurture this a little bit. It's going, whatever this new thing coming in on your path is, it's going to bring you a lot of success in the future. It's going to take you to where it is that you want to go. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at your soul truth card. And I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. If this resonated at all with you, um, I even have a personal um, special message from your past loved one. Um, so if you'd like to um, do that, I would really be honored to do a reading for you. All right, so let's see what your card is. What if it isn't true? Yeah. The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, <laughs> you're not enough, or it's not for you. What if it isn't true? Yeah. And that is really taking a look at it. You know, what what about this offer? Because you have not for you, right? And you have divine timing. I feel like, and you have exchanging gifts. I think that they're, they're bringing something in that at this time, you may not feel is the right thing for you because you're attached to an idea or a belief system or some mindset. And it's kind of like, no, just go with this. This is taking you in a completely new direction. It's opening up a whole new path for you. That is just beautiful. <laughs> it really is. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you so much love and light. If you did um, resonate with this, I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.